All right, this is fourth grade, module five, lesson three. And in this lesson, students are going to be taking uh, just fractions, and they're going to be representing them not only as a decomposition of unit fractions, but they're also going to be taking that repeated addition concept and turning it into uh, multiplication. Uh, let's get started on this. So here it says decompose each fraction modeled by the tape diagram as a sum of unit fractions. So there's that unit fraction thing. And then turn it into multiplication. And so our first example here, we have a fraction that's clearly two-thirds, right? Because the whole thing is one whole. It's been chopped up into three equal size pieces. There's our two. So our sum of unit fractions is one-third plus one-third. And since we have two of them, that could be two times one-third. All right, so that's our kind of our lead-in. So let's take a look at what we've got here. So this is 3 fourths, and we know it's 3 fourths because our whole has been cut into four pieces. Three of them are shaded. So as a sum of unit fractions, that's going to be 1 fourth plus 1 fourth plus 1 fourth. And just like, like if you were to say, you know, you know, 4 plus 4 plus 4 is the same thing as 3 times 4, here you've got 1 fourth plus 1 fourth plus 1 fourth, so this is the same thing as 3 times 1 fourth, and there we go. Uh, more of the same, only this time we can see we have four pieces shaded in, and it takes three pieces to make one whole, so our fraction is 4 thirds, and if we want to write it as a sum of two products, so there's a lot of ways we could do it, but I'm going to say, okay, well, right here is three-thirds plus we have one-third, right? So I'm going to take this four-thirds and I'm going to move it down here, right here. And I'm going to say, well, that is, let's see, I could think of it as one-third plus one-third plus one-third, that's this first part, plus this last third, which is this guy over here. Now this, by the way, is not ex you know, expected as part of Eureka Math, but I want to kind of make it obvious here. And so that makes this 3 times 1 third plus, and this is 1 times 1 third. So there's one way to list it as a sum of two products. Now why are we doing that? Well we're doing that because down the road we want students to be able to see this as one whole and this is one-third so that we want students to see that eventually this is one and one-third um, kind of guiding our students towards a standard algorithm for turning improper fractions into mixed numbers um, but really it's also nice because this leads our students towards the idea of multiplying fractions, which they will do in fifth grade. Now, there is no magic for what the answer could be. I mean, really, if you think about it, we could say, well, four-thirds is one-third plus one-third plus one-third plus one-third, and we could put our parentheses right here, and we can change this to two times one-third plus two times one-third. I suppose there's no rule uh, right now at this point for how we use a sum of two products, and so there's another all option. Now here we're just kind of taking away some of the scaffolding. We're supposed to draw the tape diagram and then record um, a couple of things. So first let's draw the tape diagram. So in this case, three-fifths. Here's our one hole, five pieces, and we're going to shade in three of those five pieces. Now if we're going to record it as a, uh, let's see, and record the given fractions, whoa, I'm getting yelled at, um, as a decomposition into unit fractions. So okay, so that means three-fifths is going to be one-fifth plus one-fifth plus one-fifth. And then if we want to record that as a multiplication, we'd say, oh, well, that's 3 times 1 fifth. So moving to 8 fifths, a little bit more tricky because our numerator 
8 is larger than our denominator, 5. But basically that 8 means we have 8 pieces. So I'm going to draw 8 pieces, and I'm going to cut it into 4 pieces, and then each one of those I'm going to cut in half. So now we have 8 pieces, and the fact that the denominator is a 5 tells us that 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. These 5 pieces right here is one whole. So that is one whole right there. And then we still have these three pieces remaining over here, and I kind of overlapped a little bit. There, We still have those three remaining pieces. So first off, what is our sum of unit fractions? So 8 fifths is going to be 1 fifth plus 1 fifth plus one fifth plus one fifth plus one fifth plus one fifth one two three four five six seven eight so we have one fifths eight times now we're going to record it as a multiplication sentence and so that's going to be eight times one fifth now parents and teachers if you want, with your high-flying students, or just to enrich your students' experience, you could say, well, 8 fifths is, you know, you could think of it as these 5 fifths put together is 5 fifths, plus the remaining 3 fifths, that would be these 3 fifths over here, and that leads us to 1 plus 3 fifths, which is 1, and three fifths. It's kind of a foreshadowing of turning a mixed, uh, I'm sorry, an improper fraction into a mixed. By the way, there's nothing improper about this fraction, as in wrong with it. Improper makes it sound like it's wrong, and really, improper just means the numerator is bigger than the denominator. And that wraps up fourth grade module five, lesson three, where we're taking fractions representing it as a multiplication problem. For example, 3 eighths is 3 times 1 eighth.